Hey everybody, it's Tina again. Um, I want to tell you something the Lord shared with me. And I thought that was really interesting. And how important it is to forgive. And so um, I was watching this um, this uh, YouTube video. How this, uh, this priest was trying to cast this uh, demon out of this girl. And the demon was getting a chance to talk. And the demon was crying and bawling. And said, you know, oh, I got tricked by Satan, by Lucifer. He tricked me. He said that we could have been greater. And, you know, and he beats us. And, and we're in hell, suffering for eternal because of him, this and that. And, you know. And then so he's crying. And then, and then the priest said, why don't you, you know, there was this really long story. And I, I told, um, um. I mean, the priest told that girl to go to repent to to God and maybe, you know, and the priest said, how do you know um, God won't forgive you if you don't repent? And the, the fallen angel, which is the demon, said, I know, it. I know God will not forgive us. I know it. Like, they know that God will not forgive them. Like, they don't even need to ask because they know that God will not forgive them. And that's how crazy that is, you know, like. And anyway, so, um, what happened, okay, I was like, Lord, what's going on here? Like, I was talking to the Lord, I'm like, what's going on? You taught us to love and forgive other people. Why are you not forgiving these fallen angels, which is the demons, you know? And then, so, um, this is what God explained to me. He said that the angels, okay, in heaven, they're made perfect in their own way their own being they're made perfect in every way okay and so you know there's they know what's up they know what's wrong down they know what's right they know what's left okay they know the defiance of righteousness and the truth and what's right and what's wrong for us there's a lot of things that we do that we know we know is a sin you know things has to be taught to us you know we're like little kids it's grown up you know and so um you know, we have to be taught things, you know, pride and angry and bitterness and forgiveness and this and that and a whole bunch of stuff, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff. And in our mind, it's like God's voice, devil voice. And we're like, oh, we're getting confused. We don't even know which one, you know, like, you know, that's why I thought about uh, the relationship and um, with God so that, you know, and you are taught and stuff. And so this is what God said. They were made perfect in their own way. They were, still, they were serving God millions and billions and trillions and millions. Who knows? They were serving God so long. They know what God was capable of. They seen what God can do. Yeah, you see, they seen before the earth was, before the universe and everything was in place. They were, you know, up there with God. And so before we were created, before the foundation of anything, they were there with God, you know, up there, out and about, you know, I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of like God, you know, the angels are not God, but they know everything God knows, but they don't have the power like God do. The power they have is through the Holy Spirit, I think. So, um, you know, but... Because of free will, God give them everybody free will, you know. I don't know, like I think in the very, very, very beginning, you know, he 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 just like doesn't give anybody. Then he decided to give people free will because he didn't want robots coming after him, you know. He wants somebody with a genuine heart that wants to obey and listen and serve him, and you know, you know. And then so that's where I think like after a while, he give you know, uh, the angels free will. And that's where all the rebellion and stuff start. And then it, it, it kind of contaminate the, the Adam and Eve, which is us, his second creation. Okay. That we are the second, the angel was his first creation and we are his second creation. And the first contaminate the second creation, you know, he, the angel was like, you know, he was, I guess through, you know, Lucifer was pride and arrogant and whatever. He lost his position in heaven and he got everybody to, like, vote for him and um, see him as God. He guess if if um, a lot of people, I don't know how what he was thinking, but uh, I guess the more people 
that vote for him that he can overvote God and overrule God, but that doesn't how that doesn't how it work. God won't just give oh, you you having more angels here, I'm gonna give you my crown. No, that doesn't work with God, you know? Okay. God is somebody with righteousness, with love, with you know, God is like the whole ship of him. You if you guys know God, God is the whole ship of him, okay? And and how can his creation be God, you know what I mean? And God just doesn't give his crown to anybody, you know what I mean? And, you know, and so, um, so, uh, basically, well, you know, anyway, so basically, you know, God was telling me that, you know, all, the angels, the fallen ones, seeing what God could do with, you know, with freedom, they decided, they, they just decided they, they want to go another route. I guess they were just serving God and they got bored of it or somehow, I don't know, they decided to go after Lucifer. I really don't know what the heck those fallen angels, those demons was thinking, you guys. I really don't know, you know. I see some people, like, making, create, like, some people, like, really have a brain and don't use it in this world, like, literally, they didn't, like, you know. I used to have a brain and I don't use it and I'm like, Lord, I'm on it. I want to use my brain. Give me some knowledge. So your book, your brain is like a book. Okay, you need to start writing things down. Your brain, you know what I mean? Study, do something. Pray to the Lord. The Lord is the whole dictionary for you. Okay, the whole internet really. God is like the everything you can. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> when God was teaching me, okay. In order to get forgiveness, you got to forgive. Whatever goes around, comes around, okay? If you're helping people in charity, whatever, you're getting double full when you get to heaven. Okay, you're getting it now and when you get in heaven. You get, you know, when you're doing charity and helping people out, okay, God's going to help you out. When you forgive people, God's going to forgive you. But if you don't forgive people, God ain't going to forgive you. And if you, if you don't do any charity now, you ain't going to get nothing in heaven. You are, Trust me, there is... There's uh, structures, there's buildings in heaven, and there's mansions, okay? And if, if you don't do charity, you're not giving angel supplies to build your your mansion up there. You can be living out in the forest. Like, if you don't really, okay, not just only you don't have nothing, you can actually lose your salvation. God can hold you against this for, for not doing charity, you know? Even if you do good life, and you know, there's a certain amount of charity you have to help you guys, Okay? Um, there's a certain amount of charity you have to give, okay? 10%, 20%, I don't know. Okay, I think it's 10%. 10% of your paycheck got to go into charity, you guys. Like, at least 10%. Like, I think that's a standard number for God. God I don't think God will qualify anything less than 10% of your paycheck. Anything that you bringing in. But I don't know. You know, we are, you know, we're saved through grace. Some people say so, whatever. I don't know. But I think there's a standard where God, you know, God search out the hearts, you know. And so, um, you know, um, so basically, you know, the the, the fallen angel, which is the demon, you know, they're here to uh, destroy, to st steal, destroy, and deceive, okay, humanity. So they're doing people wrong, okay? Nobody do the devil wrong. Okay, nobody doing the demon wrong. So the demon, the demon is, the demon is never. The the demon, you know, um, is kind of in debt. You know, the demon is in debt because, you know, they owe. You know the other, you know, the demon, basically, you know, they they did the other people wrong, so they should go. I'm, you know, you know what I mean? But in the, the other people, the humanity, they never do the demon wrong. So there was never any forgiveness to be forgiven. So that's why they couldn't have forgiveness. They couldn't receive forgiveness because there was no forgiveness to be forgiven because the angel did them wrong, which is humanity. And humanity never did the demon wrong. You see, you see what I'm talking about? So there was no forgiveness to be forgiven. So yet forgiveness was not applied onto them. So they could never receive forgiveness. That was what the Lord was explaining to me. I was like, wow, really? That was really interesting. I'm like, Lord, so if, you know, if 
the whole world, you know, was to be saved, okay? And we would pray to get these demons, you know, out of hell. And you said, the Bible, your words are true. And it says, ask, seek, and you would knock, and, you know. But then, you know, who would, honestly, who would do that? Like, even though God's telling me to pray for my enemies, but praying for the devil, that's, that's something else. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's another question I have. I always have some stupid, interesting, crazy question for God. And God's like, oh, Lord, I mean, oh, holy, holy. You know what I mean? Like, holy, like, oh my goodness, this girl is like, I always come up with, like, the most interesting question that was, like, complicated to answer. And even God sometimes, like, is that even a question? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are you even trying to say? Are you trying to, oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, like, I have some, like, really crazy question throughout my life I sometime you know if I had time I would like you know if it's simple God will like answer me but then if it's too complicated and it'll take me forever to like sit there and you know forget to answer because when I meditate with the Lord it takes time you guys it takes time to talk to the Lord and you know he's not like talking like this like super fast and if he did you know the you know it's really hard to look you know it's hard to get to hear the Lord, you know, you got to be really hold, holy and righteousness and uh, repenting and your soul got to be clean too. And then, you know, on top of that, you got to do all sorts. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is what goes around, come around, okay? The more you help, the more you forgive, the more you do this, the more God is applying up on you, okay? And when you don't do these things, not you're not just, you know, you're not just, you know, pulling through, but you're losing your own soul. Okay, there's a standard. I think there's a standard that God is asking, um, you know, everybody to do. Like, forgiveness is a must, okay? It's like, if you don't forgive, God's not going to forgive you. So, if you have any bitterness or any anything against anybody, ask the Lord to help you overcome. Because, um, you know, I'm always asking the Lord, what's my purpose on this earth? Why was I created? You know, do you guys ever have those questions? Okay, and then, and then lately when I was saved and reborn and whatever and then and when i'm evangelizing and living for god then i understand my purpose i'm like oh that's why i was created to so go preach your word god that was what i was created to be or i was created to go in this area to help this person out or to do this to help uh carry them to jesus or so not you know just you know we meet certain people in our lifetime and, and they're they're all instruction in God's plan to help each other out in a way, you know. But um, I'm telling you, okay, think holy, think righteousness, think good, okay. Don't even reason with any kind of medium. Like, just go pure all the way, you know. Like, okay, there's like, there's like, there's like, good and there's evil and there's medium in the middle. Okay, I always think about best of every situation what will god think what will jesus think you know what i mean like sorry about my really low top here um so basically what will god think you know okay this video is too long already i'll make another one bye